We're trying to tell a story about like what welding really is. As a welder, having the ability to modify things, I think is the best part about having this excavator. I started thinking of things that I would want to change on the machine. So the, the first thing being uh, modifying the bulldozer blade. By modifying this blade, making it a little bit taller, it allows you to push a little bit more material and it prevents material from spilling over. And then the other part was the modification on the thumb. So typically the thumb only has two tines. The bucket has four teeth. With a third tine, now you have you know, more opportunity to pick up smaller material and you have to be less accurate. Ooh, goats in the background, I love it. Really gives it that, that farm feel. Joe Clark and I actually met on like LinkedIn. We're both kind of big into posting obscure things that we're working on, on social media. It was like an obvious choice to, you know, to pick up the phone and call Joe. This is like a ridiculous, you know, hey, I wanna modify my mini excavator. And he's like, sounds like a good idea to me, you know? Look at that Harris bling. Do it twice so you can practice on the first one? No, we'll do it one time. I cut it. He's I calling it. it. All right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we do it one time. God, that looks awesome, dude. <laughs> it does. Joe's a much better fabricator than I am. Having his expertise on the fabrication side really helps me shine as a welder. Ready? Yep, you. The Ranger generates such clean power that it feels like it's plugged into the wall. There are a couple little gaps and stuff, so I'm using an eighth inch 6010. That arc stability is, is just really, really nice. Yeah, I'm down with that. So we're using a Lincoln 71A85 in 052, which for a lot of people, they would say that that's a large diameter wire. It's my favorite diameter to run. So one of the things that I wanted to do on this project was make some welds in some real world situations. We got this part, it's a precision cut part. It actually has between a five and 10 degree bend in the part. So it adds even more structural rigidity to the spill guard. One of my goals as the weld scientist or whatever is to show what welding is really like and we want it to look as cool as it is. I like to say, you know, welding always looks this cool. There just isn't somebody there taking a photo or a video of it. You know, welding doesn't have to be this dirty, nasty job that uh, isn't fun or exciting. I mean, it, you can make it whatever you want. This uh, kind of sucked back just a little bit since we're welding in this radius. Fine adjustment tool, brought it back. This is like a perfect playground for an excavator. Anytime I can get on there and find an excuse to work on a project. You can't run that thing and not have a good time. You know, we're trying to tell a story about, you know, doing real work 
and the tools that, that help you get a job done. We could be doing anything on the weekend, but we would rather be running excavators and chainsaws and that kind of stuff than sitting in front of the television. I think that hanging out with like-minded people that, you know, want to, you know, just not do normal things, I think is is what makes this so fun.